Hello Stormguard and Hitchley. This is my third attempt at recording of this reaction because technology does not like me today. So, I apologize if you don't see the Discord group like you did with the last one because, like I said, technology decided to be a bitch and fucked over my mic. So anyways, today we're going to be reacting to Bowser vs. Eggman, the clash of video game legends. Let's begin this shit. This battle is sponsored by Marvel Snap and Prize Picks. Bowser versus Dr. Eggman, the king of the Koopas and the baddest of bad sure that and high quality. they're not alone. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Mm-hmm. Ah, the Mushroom Kingdom. A peaceful land of kindness, adventure, love. Ah, oh, boring. Move aside, princess. It's time this place got way more awesome. Oh, yeah. Here comes King Koopa himself, better known as Bowser. The moment this orphan star child was found by Kamek, it was clear Bowser would command the disparate outcasts of the Mushroom World. The Koopa Clan. Sadly, not everyone's born a toad, and they treat these I have like yet to play Super Mario to RPG remake. Jump farming for one up. Wait, Bowser his wanted dead a different brother. World, but Princess Wait. Peach Toadstool would never Wait, allow what? Evil King's day in the sun. Her light was so bright. I don't remember Bowser having a brother. With her. So he turned all the toads <laughs> into pigs and kidnapped her, putting their princess in another castle. And another, another castle and another. And another the cycle never ends. Only to be released if she agrees to marry him and his dad, bud. Yet he was foiled time and time again by those pesky Mario brothers. However, yep. Bowser is nothing if not persistent. Look at him! Dude's built like a brick house strapped to a saw trap. That spike shell takes a lot of punishment. A brick house a of a strapped to a saw trap. It, especially when he rolls up like a... Yeah, uh, I guess that, that's what you want to compare it to. just breathe fire and control lava. He commands nature itself. Spitting meteors from outer space. Fire breath, immense strength, inhale, size alteration, magic, duplication, it. I, I am not reading all that. What else has he got? Uh, let's see. Castle, Bas Castle Bowser, Dreamy Bowser, Dry Bowser, Fury Bowser, Meowser. The original NES as much as I want to read all the other shit, at the, uh, Magic is how he I've into bricks, been through hell trying to get this to work. But that's not all the magic he's mastered. Telekinesis, creating perfect clones, reanimating his I love technology. Technology's a bitch. Ruining every game of Mario Party. Hey, no, 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 no. I stole those coins fair and square. Bowser spent decades. Too bad you lost them. Coins, magic star rods, warships, clown cars, you name it. This is the so yeah, apparently Paper Mario is canon. Fashioned after his own face. Yeah, he's Rain ga game mainline games frequently reference it. About having a four-digit IQ, but I've seen this moron put death traps in his own backyard. A man after my own heart. Despite his clumsiness, Bowser's charisma and leadership brought many to his side. Not enough to defeat Mario, but his army doesn't make it easy on the Red Plumber. They're the most wicked band of misfits this side of World 8-4. The Koopa Troop, an army spanning multiple territories across the Mushroom World and beyond. Goombas, Koopas, the Troopas, and the others make up the infantry. Some with wings, some in shoes, and some even in race cars. They're the Red Shirts. First yep. Oh, I see they reference that DBX. Plants, bloopers, and Lakitus use their surroundings to get the jump. Bowser Jr., Kamek, King the Bomb, King Boo. Here forever, jotting down the small fries. Boos, yeah. I would love to list every single fucking... For read every single fucking thing again i need to play this game example, eventually but i King Boot both have magic but both have to save up some money for it and destabilizing dimensions well Kamek i mean i could play the original but i have to play the remake anything he desires or swapping my items to screw ah yes the good old days of mario party 5 of items most of the minions can use pretty much any power up mario yes i know the rap i know the footage that's there that's mario party 5 really get into the cat role play but as the Koopa Troop grew and grew, it started to feel less like an army and more like a family unit. Oh, you mean like his kids, the Koopalings? Eh, they're adopted. What's the difference? Good point. 
Bowser took them in and even trained them in dark magic. Though no one's as spoiled as his natural Nepo baby, Bowser Jr., captain of the Koopa Troop. Spoiled is an understatement. Remember his escapades mm -hmm. at Shadow Mario? Ah, yes, the good old Coutinho Shadow Plaza Mario. Literal evil paint. That whole debacle was basically his attempt at elementary school art class. And I bet Bowser still has some on the fridge. But really, the king is very protective of his kids. If the fam's in trouble, he can will himself to transform into a giant kaiju. Ought to crush whatever bullies tug at smack. Maybe a little overkill. Just one punch from Giant Bowser launched a castle out of orbit. Taking into account the fight and the scale of their universe, Bowser's punch or must have hit with a force or whatever of the fuck over 125 is. trillion tons of TNT. Considering how even out with this giant, even with that giant size Bowser scales so the Mario who can lasso celestial objects, three suns with the ice fire, and escape a black hole which fires faster than light speeds. So don't bully his kid, especially if he falls into some of Bowser Jr.'s side. Bowser's fury. That stuff's scary. Enough to unleash Bowser's dark fury. A form whose very steps cause widespread natural disasters. Okay, seriously, how does Mario ever oh, beat this God. guy? He's like Godzilla, Doctor Strange, and John Cena all in You wanna know about how we got taken down in that? Part. Uh, Bowser's giant part cat Mario that looks like a Super so Saiyan lion. He eventually learned how to warp the very fabric of reality. Anything the king imagines, he makes happen. He turned all of Yoshi's Island into a storybook. And remember those painted worlds in Mario 64? Yeah, he made those. And the staircase that goes the I'm aware of the fucking, uh... Which can mold reality like infinite staircase. I played Mario 64 a lot. To wish someone out of existence. But his most I also got coffee with me too because trying to record this thing, trying to get this thing to work was not easy because for some stupid reason, my sound pad when I was fixing the settings on that fucked over the settings and everything else. Obviously, the big daddy grand stars are even crazier. So yeah, I was kind of annoyed by that. Kingdom, but then guess who showed up to ruin everything? It's a him. And when it's the me, Mario. Let's go. The chain reaction that destroyed the entire universe via a massive black hole. Yeah, I played the first game of Mario Galaxy, but I never beat the second game. By another black hole and thrown into a star that went supernova. Imagine if this crazy OP Rosalina survived the cosmic implosion and implied to have witnessed that didn't have time to read all that. Ah uh, yes, Bowser's inside story. He still hasn't conquered the Mushroom Kingdom. Perhaps it's because his visions of grandeur were never really what he sought. Surrounding him is a crew of outcasts and miscreants like him. Rioter dies that can't be swayed against him. Oh, are you saying he's secretly happy because he's got a big monster family now? Yes. But also, when they actually worked together, they legitimately conquered most of the known universe. So... Teamwork makes the dream work. Through through, ...who will teleport through space and time to show you what's what. Because he's no ordinary Koopa. Make way for the king! Alright, I'm skipping this. This battle is sponsored by Prize Picks. I'm Price skipping picks. this. Thank you. Picks. Run your game. Thank you! I don't care. Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears. Imagine a world of endless. All official material related characters applied since now, some less found contradiction, prime it source it material. Disgusting. Now imagine a better world, one with proper guidance and the technology to bring about global peace. But Wiz, only a brilliant mind can make that happen. Not just Ah uh, yes, reference mind, Eggman versus Wily. Heart who knows the dangers within. He's Ivo Robotnik. Dr. Eggman. As a mad scientist myself, his story is my inspiration, just as Eggman's was his grandfather, Gerald Robotnik, who sought to create world peace through technology. But then his beloved granddaughter, Maria, was killed by the Guardian Unit of Nations, better known as... Gun. They're referencing uh, Sha UN. Sonic X Shadow Generations, Eggman, which I like recently played on the channel. Go check that out. Family talked about was Maria this, Maria <laughs> that. Neglect and envy tainted Ivo's goals of following Gerald's footsteps. He distanced himself from his grandfather's legacy. Instead of bettering the world, he would conquer it to get the attention he deserved. No, you mean crave. Desperately crave. Eh, tomato, tomato. You just said it the same way. Why would you say it like to that? Establish Eggman Land, a capital of science. And this paradise would have worked just fine if not for that blasted Sonic the Hedgehog. For years, the hedgehog's outside my window. In his face, 
That's 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 so deadly, it created a plague that nearly wiped out. Yeah, uh, Eggman never made himself immune to it. Yeah, uh, Eggman kind of screwed the pooch on that one when he had no choice but to resort to teaming up with Sonic to slow down the virus. And even the center of a black hole. I mean, it's kind of lame because it worked too well. Because apparently, it's like, like the egg walker or the dead egg robot. Who's snap? I made my virus too well because now I'm. About to get clapped. Oh, uh, yes, hi, Sonic 06, oh, okay, with the worst Eggman design oh, ever made. I'm sorry, I can't like take Eggman's design in 06 seriously. Like the wisps. And then there's the orbital bases, like the dead egg. <laughs> is obvious, but Darth Vader's version is like a toy. I am also feeling a lot better, but I am still getting over remnants. I mean, I'm mostly better. Eggman doesn't enjoy scrapping with blue hedgehogs himself. Enter the Egg Dragoon. Hell yeah! The Big arms, the death egg, orbital station, final egg blaster, death egg robot, e mag egg dragoon, egg emperor, make mobile eel, module hovercraft. I didn't have time to read all that. Uh, salamander, wizard, viper, wyvern, wisp armor, time eater. Maybe world domination is in his grasp yet. One problem. Why did that sound like a fucking rap god segment? No friends, no wife. No, nothing. Come on, he has friends. I mean, he's a feminist. Oh, okay, maybe not. But what about Infinite? Sure, they might have. Yeah, uh, Infinite. He was shadow, screwed over counts. royally at the end of Sonic Forces. Who needs friends when he can build friends? Obviously, Eggman has a. Also, fuck Lost World. Sorry, I I don't care for Lost World. Are mass produced foot soldiers, buzz bombers, crab meats, caterpillars, egg robos, and don't forget those cute little moto bugs. The badniks may seem simple, but they're led by an elite, multi talented unit the hard boiled heavies. Really leaning into the egg thing, huh? The army has a yeah. wide variety of troops. Leaders, decoy, infinite metal sonic, orbot, cubot, sage. I don't know how orbot and cubot are leaders, but yeah, whatever. Metal series, mecha sonic, mecha knuckles, tails doll, rocket metal, shadow. Android. Like yeah, there's a lot of them. Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic has the most horsepower in the Eggman. Empire. Maybe this time we won't see the whole. He's had his rebellious phases, but Eggman's reprogrammed Metal to better form. Metal Overlord in this one. when upgraded to his Neo form, Metal Sonic could copy biological data, including unique powers like Shadow's Time Stop technique, Chaos Control. He could even copy Silver's Psychokinesis, and with enough Chaos Energy, he powers up into Super Neo Metal Sonic. Though everything would change with the appearance of the Phantom Ruby. One of many trump cards at Eggman's disposal, the Phantom mm -hmm. Ruby alters reality by manipulating perception. Basically, super OP illusions, but in Infinite's hands, it's a weapon of mass destruction. I don't know how illusions translate to body replicas, changing gravity, or making a fake sun, but go off, King. And when you yeah, so it's a sad shame we can't include uh, Sonic Forces Overclock because uh, that's the mod. So I apologize, but I know people love that mod, but unfortunately, it's not included here. Scepter to make the world shattering egg wizard. Then, on more than one occasion, he's effortlessly gathered the super rare, nightmare fuel, Phantom Ruby, Ruby, Shrink Ray, Salt. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did have, does have access to that. And built, and built, and built, and built, sort he built something that started to build on him. Sage was originally designed as a mere assistant, but through an alien encounter, she was granted actual sentience. Sage is already super powerful, but now she's also super smart. She thought up millions of battle plans all at once to defeat the massive titans. And you can barely remember where you put your dune bug. I know exactly where it is. It's at the police impound. Thank you very much. Sage was Eggman's saving grace. What in the world did Boomstick do to get it in the impound? Lacking. But Sage's great adequacy in serving her function provided Eggman with something that, for the first time, see this. He'd see hate Sage in essence, moments in uh, Frontiers made me tear up. I will admit that. I played Frontiers on the channel as well. 
spaceship and his orbital death ray. Hell, now she controls the entire army. And this frankly unheard of trust from Eggman became crucial in defeating the End, a primordial entity so mighty even Supersonic struggled against it. Their battle can only be described as peak. Yeah, it took uh, another variant of Supersonic to take it out. The power of one emerald can shift continents. I felt Sonic the Hedgehog saved the, saved the world, universe. defeated Sonic Tails, so Starline, and bosses, General. Like Eggman's Time Eater, which ripped apart space time like tissue paper. In short, Chaos Emeralds give thoughts power. With them, Eggman's best machines can run indefinitely while matching the greatest powers ever seen. Like when three supers battled Solaris, who tried to destroy time itself. Sonic Rush Cast Emerald could have destroyed the universe from reacting to the Soul Emeralds, also superforms utilizing the Chaos Scale of the speed of the, pa of the Paradox Basin. And well, time eater destroying the universe is less than 10 seconds. Sonic here and there. He's pretty effective when he Paradox was all oh, right, Sonic Prime. Well, Again, I, was I, I, Sonic Prime was okay. He loved. In Eggman's case, Still, he has Sonic perhaps at Shadow Generations. Shadow Generations fucking made me tear up. Nah, Peggy will always have a harebrained scheme behind his cufflinks. So watch out, critters and plebeians of the world. He is the yep. Eggman, mm. and he's got the master plan. All right, next. Sorry, Marvel Snap. As much as you are a good game, uh, I need to skip you. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle of legends. All right, love how it's starting off with a uh, wedding referencing the Mario movie. I have come to make an announcement. I'm fixing on the moon. You can tell they cook with the music. Oh, hi, Infinite. How you doing? King Boo is like, allow me to show you a real reality warper. Bye bye, Infinite. Everyone's just fighting over the Phantom Ruby. Ah uh, yes, the good old chance time from Mario Party, I love it! There's Neo! Oh, there's the, uh... There's the, uh, the black paint! I love that they're using the movie design of the egg, the death egg robot. And there's Fury Bowser. Oh, Super Neo! Hammock summoning the wolf pipes! Bye bye, Hammock! We'll see you in the next Mario Party! <laughs> oh no, Bowser Jr.'s hurt! Bowser's pissed! 
keep your hands off my Bye bye, metal! There's the black hole! It's over! Boom! This was an army fight and a boss fight done right! This war was not an easy one to win. Hey, at least Sage is still alive. And working for Bowser now. While Mario's comes across as more cartoony. But as it turns out, Bowser had everything he needed to take Chrome Dome down. Strap in. This one's a lot, so we'll break it down into five categories. First up is physical stats. Bowser pretty handedly outmatched any of Eggman's usual mechs. Like the Bowser's space traversing vehicles the matched the speed of Eggman's vehicles. Speed. Both had arguments of incalculable speed, yes. equal levity, of both potential scare, both dimension manipulation stars. feats but from Antasma, Colix, Eraser, Jin, and Void. Bowser's strength is certainly above the green dinosaurs. Plus, while both Spread the referencing and Sonic in the Secret Reigns. Bowser's was much larger. Yeah. He may win stats, but this could change with their powers. With so many items and minions, that could make all that a moot point. Aside from power-up items, both could manipulate minds, create duplicates, and alter space-time. However, Bowser had a significant edge in having access to the majority of his villains. Bowser's army we have time. Didn't have time to read that. Can do some crazy stuff, but only across different mechs, fortresses, or space bases. Bowser's all natural. He's got all his best powers built in. And he ain't even a robot. Meaning he wins the war of attrition. He even had counters for battle enders like the metal virus and spatial displacement trap. Context matters for those weapons and both backfired in the past. But more importantly... But see, now this I like. The effects with his I, I, I like that they're showing the ult what would happen if those were actually played into the fight. Or a block with no reliable way back. Bowser takes the edge in powers. <coughs> definitely not for intelligence. Ow. Come on, you have a four-digit IQ, Bowser? Really? That's cute. I mean, don't get me wrong. Bowser's not an idiot. Usually, just really, really clumsy. Poor fella. Meanwhile, Eggman's an engineering genius who rarely ever gets bested by brains. Easy dub. Now, let's talk trump cards. As in, items so powerful they could decide the entire outcome on their own. The Phantom Ruby was. Achieving Super, super Eggman and the Egg Veil required weeks of energy gathering and a modified Phantom Ruby like prototype. Bowser's Bowser using the Water Flower could warp reality, for me, reality the at the Universal Ranger like in a shorter time. Okay. Also, the Dreamstone's ability to wish anything out of existence would have no problem. See, now, uh, th there's Time Eater and Dream Bowser. See? They, they, they cooked with this. They actually cooked. So can the Grand Stars. Arguably not as much given the emerald scaling to Solaris, though Power Stars and Grand Stars are far more plentiful. Clearly this is getting And this correct. and both had multiple they, options they that could the day. with these so alternate scenarios. The bet is to call this I love it. This is perfect. It's finally time perfect. to compare their armies. Eggman seems deadlier at first glance. I mean, look at all those buzz saws and rockets. Metal Sonic speed and power. Pure Hearts counter the Time Eater and Paradox Prism. I the Eggman yeah. something Bowser had in space. Teamwork and loyalty. Again, Eggman teamwork makes the dream work. Team player. His alliances are practically guaranteed also, to fuck follow you, Lost World. In Sonic Generations, he could barely manage working with himself. Eggman's army is designed to be controlled by just him. To Eggman, it's harder to command those with free will. Hence his rivalry with the free natured Sonic. Meanwhile, the Koopa Troop follows Bowser because they actually like him. They train really hard to cover each other's weak points, giving them plenty mm -hmm. of advantages as this war progressed, like battlefield control through King Boo's magic and Bowser Jr.'s paint. And since the Koopa Troop doesn't rely 
inside that Bowser technology. Bowser Jr., Kamek, and Game Boy could cross between also, Dimension Karen, Sage, and if it vanish into the cyberspace or null space. Metal Sonic's power copying, stealing the Phantom Ruby, and potentially swapping the Chaos Emeralds were huge game changers. Add on that Bowser and his army can use any Mario power-up item, and they had millions, no, billions of combinations that the Eggman Empire just could not actively plan against. Even with Sage's millions Look at that. to take down the that, that just shows you how powerful Bowser is. Sonic proved was incorrect. Just comparing Both were equal in cosmic and in reality warfare. Empire took over the whole and planet. The other thing. Bowser's troop conquered yeah. most of the universe. Yeah. Was no they cooked. His wit, power output, to all the haters who hate this fight. Bowser the biggest fight of his life. Choke on Copia. 13 out of 10. 13 out of 10 goes to Bowser versus Eggman. They fucking cooked. He's cracked and scrambled. The winner is Bowser. Next time on Death Battle. And the next time is Among Us versus Fall Guys. I don't know how that is gonna play out, honestly. I literally don't. I I literally don't. I literally don't know how Among Us versus Fall Guys is gonna work, considering that uh, they're both multiplayer games and there's not really a whole lot of lore to work off of. So, yeah, it's probably going to come down to the game mechanics. We'll figure that out as we go. But anyway, on to the outro. Hello, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want to support the channel, feel free to subscribe or follow the red or purple platform of your choice and continue my adventures in the Storm Garden as well as the Hedge Fleet. Thanks again for watching. If you want to see more videos, they'll be on the left and right of me. Till then, your Captain Hedgefleet in the Storm Garden signing out. I'll see you in the next stream. Splash video I do. Good day, people.